Okay, finally some sunshine. Literally, it's probably the first day in the UK where it's um, proper summer weather. I mean, what we, due, uh, May the 8th, I think. Uh, and it's just started to um, become really hot, which is decent, hence why I'm in the garden with my top off. Just done like a, a little home workout. We've got like a little gym in there. I think you've seen it before, actually, in one of my videos. Um, but this video is weird. Um, how I've never answered it before, because obviously my channel, more so my side of it now rather than James, uh, is about kind of partying, um, keeping fit, keeping in shape. That, that you know, that's what it's all about. You know, I'm not here, you know, telling you how to count your macros all the time. Blah 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 blah. Like other YouTubers do. You know, that's that's their niche in the market. My niche is staying in shape uh, whilst you know having enjoying myself. And by enjoying myself, I mean going to festivals, going to parties. You know, enjoying myself in that way. So, uh, question. Does alcohol affect your gains or, you know, muscle building potential? Uh, and I'd be a liar if I said no. I know that I've achieved, you know, a fair amount in, in the four years I've been training, considering probably two to three years that I was drinking two, two, if not three times a week. Like me and James used to go out Monday night, shooting nights, Thursday night, and Saturday night as well. Literally every week. <laughs> it, it, it was bad. And that was when we first started as well. So. At the beginning, when you when you start lifting, that's when the majority of the gains come. Um, you know, your newbie gains. So we kind of drank and, and done our worst of it through that period in which we still managed to gain quite a bit. Um, I do think it limits your muscle building potential, definitely. Because obviously if you're, well, especially if you drink beer, it's full of like calories, like a cider as well, full of sugar. It's, it's like real bad for you. It's going to obviously not be good for, uh, for your body fat. Uh, it's not even just the alcohol itself, it's the effect it has on you the next day. So, you know, hangovers, you tend to want to eat shit food, you, you know, you sleep in, you might not train that day, you might, you know, or if you do train, it's not going to be as good as it would have been if you were sober. So there's a, a lot more factors than just is alcohol bad for you uh, that you've got to take into consideration, you know. Personally, I don't really get hangovers that much. Um, I feel quite fresh in the next day and I, I, in all fairness, I probably have a better workout when I'm hungover, it's so strange. So for me personally, the hangover side of it isn't an issue. Uh, the eating shit is an issue because obviously when you're pissed up, all you want to do is grab like a kebab or burger or something like that. So I'm quite bad in that respect. So even if I'm dieting, like what last week I went out in town for my brother's birthday. Well, I actually went out three nights in a row last week. Hashtag body bar prep. <laughs> but um, yeah, and you know, I ended up having cheesy chips and I came home and I peeked out the cupboard and stuff. Uh, and this was meant to be when I'm, you know, at the peak of my diet. So I'm still even doing it now. Um, I do feel like I would come in leaner, that body power, if I was to, you know, settle down for at least at least six weeks off the off the booze, off the shit food. I do think I would, you know, come in a lot better than I am at body power this year currently. But like I said. If I did that, it doesn't make me who I am. I'm trying to be, you know, someone I'm not. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to stay true to the channel as well. Um, I'm not drinking just for you guys. I'm not going out and partying just for you. You know what I mean? I'm just because I want to. I'm not doing it, you know, to carry this channel legacy on, so to speak. But yeah. So if you're, you know, just an 18, you just got into the gym. You know, you're legally allowed to drink when you go out now, and you're worried about your social life. Worried about, you know, you might know, like, get as many gains because you're drinking. I say, fuck it, just, 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 just enjoy yourself, you know, have that fucking beer. Like, personally, I wouldn't drink beer if I was you. I'd drink vodka and Diet Coke, and people always laugh at me, but four years done, that's what I've drunk all four years. I, you know, I've not really found it puts on much body fat for me in regards to just the alcohol. It's always, like I said, the food and stuff like that. Afterwards, it follows on. Um, so, yeah, like I said, enjoy yourself, drink, you will make gains, you, w you know, <laughs> Yes, it's not going to be as good as if you were sober your whole life, but let's face it, what 18, -year -old, 18 to 25 year old wants to stay sober their whole life, you know? Because you'll get to 25, 26, 27, and all your mates are getting married, having kids, blah, blah, blah. And then you're actually realizing, shit, like, I actually want to go and do the stuff they done when they were 18, 19, 20, and I was a sack and I was fucking, you know, letting the gym affect your social life. That's just, you know, you might not. You might not drink the rest of your whole of your life. Some people don't drink at all. But, um, you know, again, this is just my opinion. This is just my my sense on it, you know. And not everyone's going to agree. People are going to be like, oh, yeah, fuck, fuck your games up, blah, blah, blah. But I think I'm living proof that you can achieve, you know, a, a summer body 
whilst enjoying yourself. That's that's the way I see it. I, I think there's no one else on YouTube really that kind of shows that aspect of it. I know you've got Joe Delaney, but I don't see him going mad every weekend. You've got obviously Ziz who's dead, but you know, it, it's doable guys. It's just, you have, I'm not gonna lie, you have got to smash it during the week. If you're gonna go out on a Saturday night, you need to make sure that's that whole week you're absolutely smashing your training, smashing your diet so that you're ready for Saturday and you know, and you haven't wasted the whole week. It's when you get hungover and then you take three days to recover, that's when, you know, that's when you'll fuck up and you don't wanna be doing that. So I hope this has helped a few of you out. You know, summer, summer's coming up, holiday season, festival season. So uh, get shredded for it, enjoy yourselves, and I'll probably see some of you guys around like I did last year. To be fair, it's it probably been more response this year in regards to festivals and that, so I'm looking forward to it. I cannot wait. Literally, it just makes my day. Apart from, well, when you come up to me and I'm absolutely off my tits, and <laughs> they're like, I'm like, Ugh. don't know where I am half the time. But yeah, come up, say hello, uh, and we'll have a good time.